Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. For today's number talk, we are looking at the fraction 10 21sts, trying to decide is it closer to 0, 1 half, or 1. One way we can look at this is to take a look at our denominator. So we have a denominator of 21, or 21sts. That's kind of an unusual one. But if we were to rewrite the numbers we see on our number line here, that might make it a little bit easier. So how do we do that? Well, we can make 0 into 0 21sts. That's pretty easy. So 0 as your numerator is equal to 0. doesn't matter what the denominator is. Now, 1 is a little bit different. Since that's one whole, and we're dealing with 21sts, what we need is we need the same numerator and denominator. Any fraction, if you have the same numerator and denominator, that equals one whole. So what's in between 0 and 21? Well, we're going to need to find half of 21. And that's going to be difficult because it is a, an odd number, but it's not impossible. So what would 1 below 21 be? Well, that would be 20. And half of 20 would be 10. So 1 above 22. And half of that would be 11. So what's in between 10 and 11? Well, an integer is not going to be in between those two, but you can make a decimal. You could say it's 10.5. So we could rewrite 1 half as 10.5 or 10 and 5 tenths over 21. And look where this 10 is going to go. If that's 10.5 as my 21, then my 10 21ths or 10 21sts is going to be just a little below that. So technically, that'd be 10.0 if we wanted to make everything go to the tenths place. So it's just a little bit below. Definitely not going to be closer to, to 1 because it's on the left side or the lesser side of 1 half, my 10.5. And really, there's no way it's going to be closer to 0 because it's 10.0 and my half is 10.5. So we can say with confidence that 10 21sts is closest to 1 half.